Hi folks, Bob Collins for Diver Supply. You know, I've been wanting to do this video for a, about two weeks now, but I've been heavily involved out in um, Long Beach at the Long Beach Scuba Show, and I met quite a few of you folks out there. Yuki from uh, from Japan, I met uh, Katie and Kobe from uh, out there, and uh, just a, a ton of other people came over to the booth and said hello, and we had a few jokes and stuff about some of the different videos I've done and some of the videos that you folks have, have uh, enjoyed out there, and I deeply appreciate it, everybody stopping by saying hello. But I haven't had a chance to do the video on this dive computer. And this dive computer, like the title says, is the Apex DSX. Now, this is a computer that is pretty good competition for one of the more popular co uh, computers out there that we all know about. And I'm going to tell you about it. The DSX is going to be... I believe, pretty good competition for one of the more popular dive computers out there, and I'm talking about the Shearwater Perdix. I did some comparisons on size. The DSX appears to be, um, and I didn't do measurements. I'm just not going to take, a, you know, take a caliper and do all that stuff, but. I, I compared it, and as far as the case size goes, it's almost identical. This may be just a little bit slimmer as far as the case goes. People want to know, well, what about the screen? Well, the screen is virtually identical. And yes, it's got the color screen, just like the, um, just like the Perdix does. And this is really a, a good looking piece. And of course it pairs right up with, I'll show you, get a good shot right here, try not to get any glare from the light on there. Good looking piece, it matches up with a nice app that um, Apex puts out and it utilizes conductive charging. And it comes with a charger, I've got that right here, this little disc, and you just lay it on there and it charges up. Um, I also tried it with my charger that I use right over here to charge my camera batteries and I use it to charge my uh, batteries that operate the monitor and it's got, it's one of those little charging stations and it's got an inductive charger on the top that I can lay my, yes, iPhone on. And I tried and laid the Apex, uh, the DSX on it, and boom, it charged right off of that also. So you're able to use some of the different uh, chargers out there, which to me is an advantage because you may have left your charger somewhere, or maybe, I mean, there could be a number of different things. And I'm kind of wondering if it would charge through the charger, inductive charger in my, in my vehicle. Uh, and I may try that later on and, and I'll tell you in maybe a follow-up. Now, I've not had a chance to dive with this. We only have one in stock here at the store. It's very good looking. It's got some rubber bumpers around the edge right here and uh, some titanium across the top edges, that sort of thing. It's pretty slim, I think if I hold it. So you can see there, it's, it's pretty darn slim in the case. It comes with these um, elastic type of uh, straps and it also has holes in it here that you can use um, the corded bungees if you prefer that sort of thing. The nice thing about it is the fact that the unit lasts, the charge on this unit will last 80 hours, 80 plus hours. That's, that's a ton. It also does, you know, regular uh, open circuit. It does CCR, it does Trimix. 
uh, different things as far as it's got a built-in GPS. Um, it's various and sundry gases that it'll handle. The Bluetooth is 5.0, so it's pretty quick and pretty much the, the latest. It will handle side mount as well as, like I said, CCR. Up to six gases. It has a built-in uh, compass. It comes with an O2 analyzer, but what you need to be aware of is the fact that there's no O2 sensor in here. It will handle, like I said, six gas. It'll handle up to six transmitters. The screen, you can make it so that it'll flip if you want to use it on one hand or upside down or whatever it happens to be. It has an ambient light sensor that adjusts the brightness of the screen, which is really nice. As you can see right here, I believe it's a three button operation, which makes it fairly simple. It's got a very easy to utilize uh, menu. And of course, one of the things about computers, dive computers today, as we're seeing most of them are starting to utilize a more, a more common or a easier uh, user interface. Now, price-wise, doesn't come with a transmitter. It's pretty competitive with the dive computers that are in this particular uh, capability, let's call it. And of course, people are going to ask what the algorithm and it ends. It's the 16C. Pretty popular. A lot of people know how to utilize it. Competitively priced, uh, easy. You can use it with a transmitter. You don't have to use it with a the transmitter. There's quite a few people that I've seen recently don't use transmitters. Of course, if you're using a transmitter, I always recommend you have a backup gauge anyway, as far as that's concerned. So again, good looking piece, the Apex DSX. There's some other um, videos out there that uh, what I call button pusher videos, but uh, I think this gives you a good idea. I'm gonna put a link down below for the computer in the description. So if you want one, they are in stock and they are available. And again, I always appreciate you folks watching. We're on our way to 10,000 subscribers. I'd really love it if you'd hit that subscribe button, help me get there. Any questions that you have really help stimulate other videos uh, that I look forward in creating for you folks. So again, dive safe out there. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.